Jeff Rezende here, and today I'm going to show you how to do the ghost video effect. This is great for Halloween films. To do the ghosting effect, it can be a little hard, but following this tutorial you should be able to do it without a problem. So right here, I have two quick video footages of Zach just laying down on the ground as if he were dead. And this video footage right here is Zach getting up as if he was his ghost was leaving his body. So this can actually be really simple to do. All you have to do is drag the top clip. You have the, the, the stock footage of Zach laying down on the bottom and his ghost leaving the body on top. And you select your time duration of how long you want him to be on the ground. And I'm just going to select about 15 seconds or so. 20 seconds. And then what you're going to do is you click the top clip, double click it, and go to motion. And on motion you're going to see, you're going to look for opacity. You're going to change the opacity to, you're really going to play around with it. I'm going to try 50. 149. That seems to look good. And if I'm just going to render this really quick. Alright, so let's see what we have right now. What doesn't look right about this footage is that the dead body also looks like a ghost, and that's not what we want. We want just Zack to look like a ghost, but the body to remain solid. So this is where the hard part comes in. We're actually going to have to crop this part of the footage right here, and that can be the annoying part. So what we're going to do is, right when Zack starts to get up, we're actually going to crop it out and keyframe it at the same time. Alright. So right when Zach gets up. So this is the bottom of the clip. So you get, you control the bottom. This is the top clip, by the way. And it starts right here, where his hand is, which is right here. And we're going to crop it up as Zach's body gets up. I'm also going to crop the left and the right. to where his feet are, right there and his head right there. And now I'm going to put in a keyframe for the bottom. So frame by frame I'm going to crop this up. I'm actually going to move this down a little so you can see his feet. And this isn't going to be perfect. You just have to play around with it. So yours might come out better than mine. And as we have Zach walk out after he waves his arms around, as you can see, half of his legs still look transparent. At this point, I can move it up more and more. Like right here. And so Zach's body is completely solid now. And this is what the final product should look like. If you can see that cropping wasn't done very well, you can toggle the, um, the opacity. And of course yours should come out better than mine. And that's it. And there you go. Simple as that. And now you can make really cool Halloween videos.